to our comprehensive guide on assessing diastolic function using echocardiography. Our learning objectives include evaluating diastolic dysfunction severity using ASC guidelines. Diastolic function can range from normal to severely abnormal, as shown in this slide. Low ejection fraction or myocardial disease can complicate diastolic function assessment. The left atrial volume index is a key indicator of diastolic dysfunction. The EE ratio is an important surrogate for filling pressure in diastolic function evaluation. Mitral inflow and annulus velocity are crucial in evaluating diastolic function. Assessing filling pressure with the EE ratio correlates with left atrial pressure. Non-invasive LV filling pressure is a significant indicator of diastolic dysfunction. In a normal appearing heart, various parameters help assess diastolic function. Low EF or dilated myocardial disease can indicate abnormal diastolic function. Diastolic function ranges from normal to grade 3, as illustrated here. Mitral inflow alone is insufficient. More data is needed for accurate assessment. This flowchart summarizes the evaluation of diastolic function using mitral inflow. Assessing diastolic function in patients ranges from normal to grade 3. Additional variables can influence the assessment of diastolic function. The Valsalva maneuver and mitral annulus TDI are useful in evaluating E-wave. Ancillary features and conditions can affect diastolic function assessment. Significant RV dysfunction in PAH can complicate diastolic function evaluation. In conclusion, accurate assessment of diastolic function requires a comprehensive approach.